Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Just going to spam F5 and then we're going to get straight into it right now. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to be making the area within this pathway very colorful and stuff. So first thing I'm going to do is take all the leaves off the trees. Okay, so leaves have been removed. I've also made some minor adjustments to the terrain, and that was an oak tree, now it's birch. Now I'm going to commence with the actual coloring of the terrain here. And colors have been added. As you can see here, went for kind of a white, gray, black gradient. So it ended up mainly just being shades of gray. Moves around from here, it's darker in that area, lighter here. Darker again on this side, where it connects with the glowy plants and the bridge. Terrain stuff I did here. So that's good. Next thing I'm going to do is work on the trees. Okay, so uh, trees have been made here. They probably look more like mushrooms because they're red. I put the like gray scale thing going in it. This is what I've got going so far. It looks cool. Got trees back here, trees over here. There's like one tree over here. That's cool. Uh, yep, that's basically it for this. Next area I'm gonna work on is this little thing right here. Alright, I've done this bit now. I didn't go super detailed on this, I just did a bunch of colors over it, and I fell in a ravine. That's basically all there is here. Lots of colors and leaves on the floor, stuff over here. I kind of sunk it down a little so it would look interesting next to the path. I've got this big totem pole thing here as well. Oops, that's cool. That's basically it for that. And over here. This is the next area we'll do. Okay, so it's been some time. I've built a lot here. Happy New Year's, everyone, by the way. Apparently a year passed while I was building this, yes. Uh, but basically, let me explain what I've done here. I've expanded the glowing ravine thing to make a bunch of different sections. You can see why I'm flying over here. I'll just go over it in that order, I guess. Right here, I just put a bunch of colors together because it, it looks cool, I suppose. Here, this was supposed to look like a transition between target blocks and the white and the red in them. I added a bunch of like redstone and candles and uh, carpets and things. It's, uh, oh yeah, by the way, all the trees in this area became these blue spike things. It's just another design element I decided to do. Uh, these little islands right here, they're just magenta and black, which tie into that area over there. Uh, this was supposed to be like a diamond geode. I used some light blocks in this one. You can see right, right here. Those are fun to do. It's too bad they're only in creative though. Here, this was meant to be, uh, I used these blocks, the rock hopper blocks. I did kind of a transition thing between the blue and green and the orange. So I did that with a few of these here. Good. I'm taking some of the blocks from over here, which is where I set out my palette for the blocks that don't work in any one color because they're multiple colors. That's what I did for some of these. Uh, this one is the same sort of philosophy. I used the warped hyphae. Which has the like magenta purpley and the cyan. This one actually looks quite nice. I might reuse that another time. Here, this is like my least favorite of these, I think. Just because I went for a lot of gray in it, and gray's kind of boring. But basically, it's. I put a bunch of. That's true. Oh, I didn't mention, you know, there's these black tentacles and stuff that come out of all of the. Formerly trees, now spikes. That's the thing I did through here, because I figured all the black would make all the colors pop. 
and it has. So here, here I put a bunch of ores, these candles, you know, I did kind of a glass effect here to make it look like the black goes down a little deeper. So it's overall not my favorite. Might redo that at some point. Here, uh, this is a lava thing. It was meant to be a transition for magma blocks with the uh, dark red and the orange. You could see it at night. I had a bunch of a liberal amount of light blocks in here, as you can see. I also put some campfires under the carpets just for the smoke effect. Uh, right here, this was meant to be a transition for gilded blackstone, the gold and black and stuff. You can see here. I think it turned out pretty nice. This is a random island. I decided to do a different thing for, just because it's disconnected. It's made it green a bunch, put some of these in, drip leaf, there's candles, so these are supposed to look like weird cattail plants, with the pickle and the glass. Right here, these are, this is something I find interesting. I'm not sure it was supposed to be like mushrooms or something, but basically I used some mop heads, creeper head, a zombie head, and then I sunk down a, a turtle shell, which like I did in the prompts uh, from another video. And I did that twice here, and I think it looks interesting. So, uh, here I did a gradient from purple to pink. I don't generally do the pink colors, but I, I think this looks pretty good. So, right here, I did another kind of purple, magenta, red, orange uh, gradient. As you can tell, purple and orange, they're kind of my thing right now. Here, I put some lanterns on the blue spikes and did these little things. It's like a bunch of rope hanging from it. It kind of does a, it, it makes a nice visual kind of marker for how the area changes. This area is separate from this area. This pattern down here, this is meant to look like the, uh, I don't know what's called, the glitch texture. When something in Minecraft isn't loading properly, it, it will render as magenta and black, which is, in my opinion, pretty cool since, like, black and magenta are colors that don't exist because magenta is a trick from the brain, getting confused by there being <coughs> oh, sorry, I have a cold. <laughs> magenta is a hue that happens when people, the brains get confused by there being a hue between red and blue. Black obviously doesn't exist because it's an absence of colors. I think that is a cool way to that. Anyways, I'm a color nerd, but up here I did this like color spiderweb thing. <coughs> Dang. <laughs> Sorry, I have a cold. Uh, I'm not entirely happy with how the colors looks, but I think it did as best as I could with how I know how to build right now. So it's interesting. There's, there's a lot of like black and gray, blue, purple. It's interesting. Over here, I did this thing. Uh, it was a bunch of kind of fiery colors turning into brown, darker stuff, which would be black, and it turns back into the nether egg, which I used over here. Um, I used a lot of like uh, amethyst and gold and stuff. Just I put it in a few random patches around here, and that's the biggest one. That's interesting. Uh, here I did a gradient. It was originally going to be lime green, where this the warmer toned copper is, but it didn't work too well, so I changed it to normal copper. There's a lot of bits of skull crown as well, which I really like that block. I want to use it more. And I think that may be it. Yep, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. Well, cool. So, uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.